is Marcus Giuliano from MarcusG.TV. We're here, back. We're back. My beer blogging buddy, Eric Cafaro. We are here to talk about beer today. Blind tasting. This smells like another good one. Jamie's Jamie's picking beer for us. Blind tasting. No idea what it is. Courtney is the keeper of the list. Yeah. Of, of the thing. And I'm the cameraman. <laughs> yep, I have it. This has got some like toastiness going on. This I got a lot more hops than the last one. What do you think about that? No? It's got a little bit of caramel, dry caramel. It's a lighter beer. Yeah. It's like the last one without the fruit and Without the fruit, fruit right, right, right. Flavors. It's on the lighter side. The, the, the finish doesn't. The finish doesn't all that. You know, but I, I, I want. I want to think this isn't really an ale. I would be shocked if this it's was not an ale. ale. This is something lighter. This is something lighter. This is. Um, turn my volume off here on tweet. Deck. Is this a bottle or is this tap? This is probably draft. Draft. Okay. So I kind of know what it is because it is draft. You know, the post finish finish. I'm getting a little bit of uh, nice bitterness in my mouth. It's staying with me a little bit. It kind of like dove a little bit, but came back up. This is a, it's 90 degrees here today. Yeah. This is a perfect beer for 90 degrees. This is, you know, I don't want to compare it to August Thinner Brown. Are you Not crazy? At all, but the, the little bit of caramel notes in it. Do you think or no? No. No? August Thinner Brown is just much fuller, full I 100% agree. Oh, okay. 100% agree. But the, the little bit of toasted caramel. The little bit. Is that what you're getting toasted caramel? I'm getting toasted I'm caramel. I'm getting barley. Does barley taste like caramel when it's toasted? Maybe. I don't know. Did you like it? I'd say it's a solid 88 point beer. It's a, like a neutral beer to me. It's a neutral beer. There's, it's nothing, very, there's nothing it's bad a very, about it, it's a, and there's nothing great It's a very about neutral it. beer. Courtney, what is this beer? It I, is Blue Point Toasted... Toasted Lager. Yeah, lager. lager. Toasted Lager. That we should have guessed it was I a lager. I can't read Mom's handwriting. Sorry. Blue Point Toasted Lager. It's a C-plus beer. It went from a B to a C plus. <laughs> what? No, I said it was an eighty-eight point beer. Oh, eighty-eight. That's B plus. That's B plus. Yes. B plus is eighty-eight. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So what's an A? An A is like ninety-two points. It's ninety-two. No, no, no. An A is ninety-five. An A would be minus ninety-two. Yeah. So, so it's, it's a B beer. Then. It's a B beer. It's a B beer. It, there's nothing wrong with it. I think this is a very friendly beer to most drinkers. I think they could have toasted whatever they toasted a little bit more. Toasted a little more. But it's a lager. Yeah. You know, lagers are lighter. I'm a big lager drinker. But are you? Yeah. I'm not. Yeah, I love lagers. I'm not a big lager drinker. I'm a little disappointed in this. A little bit. But who am I? I should make my own beer. Why don't you? You should. <laughs> So let's let's see what let's see what rate beer says the commercial description here. Okay, Blue Point Toast Lager is our flagship product. Copper in color. This brew is made from six different malts, including English Pale, Crystal, Munich, uh, Wheat, Belgium. Okay, Toast Lager displays a balance of flavor of malt and hop, which makes it easy drinking. That's true. You're very easy I drinking. I agree with that. Special lager yeast is used to produce that long-lasting, smooth finish. Yeah, agree. I got that too. Agree. The toasted part uh, refers to the direct fire brew kettle. Hot flames impart a toasted flavor to most uh, to most of the popular microbrew. So the description's right on. Yeah, I think the ratings are correct on Beer Advocate B. B, yeah. Yeah. B, B minus. Yeah, there's there's. They like it a little more than I do. They, I. I but I have no problem. It's with not my style. Right. But I gotta tell you, we sell a ton of this here. We sell a yeah. ton of this here. Well, if someone wanted like a Budweiser, this is a good option for them. It's a phenomenal option for someone who wants a Budweiser. Yeah. Phenomenal. If they're I'm not comparing it to Budweiser. If they're, if they're willing to experiment and go that far. I'm comparing it to that style. Because I got to tell you, people who drink who only drink Bud, I, I, I was in um, 
where was I this spring? One of those southern states. And we got Don't diss the South. I'm not dissing the South, but it you was sounded in, like you would diss the South. It was in Tennessee. South. It was in Tennessee. We're in Memphis. You know they put eggs and tuna fish down there. Do they? Oh. Are they yeah. hard boiled eggs? Yeah. Okay. We're there. We get tickets. We're with a restaurant convention. We get tickets to a Monday Night Raw. WWE. Oh, I thought you meant raw food. I no, was no, excited. no, wrestling. <laughs> so I immediately text Carl Rosenstock, and he's so excited. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's so excited because he's watching it as we're there, right? He's doing play by play with me. He's so excited. You know, I don't think he misses that on Monday nights. No, he doesn't. No. Miss that. So we get free tickets. We go. We're sitting there. The people behind us get Bud Wheat, Bud Light Wheat, something. They get Bud Light Wheat. I didn't even know there was such a okay. thing. Okay, so they the guy gets the whole row, like five of them, this Bud Light wheat product, which to me is considered not flavored. It's a very light beer, no right. flavor, right? They start drinking, and all I hear from these guys are, we can't stand this craft beer crap. <laughs> <laughs> this microbrew stuff sucks. <laughs> and it was really funny because people like that would never go near this. Uh, I mean, I have to tell you, I don't understand. See... If I just don't think they're acclimated or even conceptualize what it is. I mean, we went to the Jet Game. Right. We ran out of beer. You brought some Chimay. You brought some Michelle Blanc. Yes. Uh, 21st Amendment IPA is a right. roadie. Well, that was very good. That was very I'd good. I like to blot that beer. That yes. Was, that was really good. Then there was no beer left, and I was forced to drink a Coors Light. I drank this. I mean, this literally tasted like... If you took a good craft beer bottle that was empty, filled it with water, and got the residual, and just got the residual, residual. flavor, I, this literally, t and I'm not, you know, I'm not a beer snob. Right. PBR, I'm in for the duration. Genesee Cream Ale, Miller High Life, I'm not a beer snob, but this Coors Light, I don't know how anybody drinks it. And then we got into the into the new Meadowlands Stadium. It wasn't much better. Um, a little bit. Well, you're a beer snob. I'm a beer snob. I'm not. So I could always go for a Bass Ale on draft. I always enjoy that. So We ended up selling for Brooklyn Law. I have a lot more. Pro no, no, you got Brooklyn. I snuck over and got a Bass. You did? I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see that at all. <laughs> so Was that when I was sleeping? What? No, that was before you went to sleep. Before bed. I went to sleep. <laughs> So getting back on topic, uh, you know, I agree it's a B or a B minus beer. Um, I think it would have been a lot better if they toasted whatever they toasted a little bit longer. Because the nice part about this was that toastiness flavor. Toastiness, that's the nice part, that dry caramel. Right, so I just wish it was a little fuller, that dryness to it. Right, but it, I, I think it's a good beer. We still what would you rate of, it? Why would you rate you it? You know, it's not my style, but I, I I would go 85, 86 points, something like that. So B minus. B mi B B. That's a B. B. Okay. Yeah, I give it a B. But I know our customers at Aroma Time love this, and they drink it like crazy. Beautiful. So it's it's a popular beer. It's a popular beer, and people like it. So it might be if you if you're the first time going into the craft beer side. This is a great this is a good idea. introduction. Absolutely, really good introduction. Absolutely. You know, and then as you grow with the flavors and the big profiles and the hops right. and the malts and the pounding in you, this is a good introduction. And once you find your style too, you right? Know, people they'll go and try all different craft beers and five different styles. First, they should find out the style that they like the best, and then explore different then beers explore. in that style. Right. Right. Otherwise, and, uh, I mean, everything tastes so different. It does. It's just, it's a rough way to do it. It does. Marcus Giuliano, MarcusG.TV. We're talking beer. Toasted lager from Blue Point. Peace.